Hello my soccer universe uh, welcome to another collection video uh, English background back there so I said let's look for another English jersey from my collection that I haven't shown you yet um, I'm wearing the it's my only long sleeve uh, English jersey so far uh, Everton away that I got from Andy from Andy's football shirts but I'm gonna show you another one which is this rather beautiful Manchester United uh, 13 14 as far as I know um, home jersey it's not one that is very much uh, remembered because this was the David Moyes uh, era but I gotta say uh, for a Manchester United shirt this is an absolute beauty in many ways and uh, was even more beautiful that I got this one for just five euros the reason being uh, that, you know, in order to be able to sell this, the guy that sold it had his own name and presumably his birth year put on the back. And yeah, <laughs> that made it not an easy sell, I guess. And that's why he put it up for five. I still have not removed. I mean, I have this now for about a year. I have not worked on removing this uh, because, you know, I'm wearing it more or less like that. But it's totally, it's totally fine. What really attracted me to this one is, of course, that there are the Premier League Championship patches on there, which makes this for me instantly uh, collectible. Uh, and it's a really beautiful shirt. I mean, look at the color, uh, the deep button down. Then here is kind of this, I, I don't know how it's called. I, I, I call it the rugby color that's also buttoned down here. I, I really love that detail. I also love uh, my other United jersey. Uh, it's hanging back there. Uh, the crest on this one is uh, like at least 50% larger. Uh, it's really, 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 really bold. So I totally loved it. I have to say that at the time Nike really produced many jerseys that had a very um, retro feel to them. Now for me, I always think that United is a little bit I, I like like the current one where they have uh, a red jersey with a, a few white accents it's a, for me a little bit more classic united than with the black collar but i have to say the black collar here works quite well i uh, totally love it um it's the typically uh, very bold sleeve cuffs of the time but they're all red so you don't really see them the aon sponsor i have to say is probably one of the better sponsors that uh, united had uh, I never liked the Chevrolet um, when it had the a a ARG. There was the boxer, and I have to say the A on looks quite nice. It's not sharp though. For me, United is uh, with a sharp sponsorship. Um, and yeah, I'll show you the sleeve patches again because I, I, it's I really like how shiny these are, and you know, golden sleeve patches. That's something. I think the English came up with that and now everyone is kind of copying everyone. I shouldn't say too much, but you know, the Dutch have it, the Germans have it and, and so on. And of course, the detail that I like probably the most is the little devil here on the back. Uh, that's pretty nice too. So yeah, I know the season did not end well for United, but at least they were looking good. I gotta say. So for me, this is a really beautiful, beautiful jersey. Even great, great condition. There's only one little pull down here. Um, the authentic tags it's always interesting to see how uh, the tags changed over uh, over time for Nike but yeah there's really not 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 much more that I, I can say I mean I'm not Tom but at 81 has no significant chance to me but I have to say there's something about this Premier League printing that I do like so yeah maybe that's another reason why I have have, have not gotten to it but uh, you know small small de details sooner or later this probably has to go but let's see how it will be in any case uh please let me know what you think about this jersey give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.